People, I have Destiny 2 complete collection codes to give away. To win one, make sure you are subbed to the channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. I'm going to pick people at random and send them codes. Good luck everybody. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. And today guys, I have this insane glitch. And when I mean insane, I mean insane with a capital I. This glitch allows you to actually get unlimited raid loot, resulting in being able to get full raid gear. Yes, you heard that right. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video and would like to show your support, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is a glitch and you will be doing it at your own risk. So if you take the risk in doing this and you get banned, that is completely down to you. Don't shoot the messenger people, do not shoot the messenger. So doing this, you can get basically unlimited raid loot. And to be honest, it's not even hard to do at all. But you will have to risk a single character. Yep, you have to delete a character if you have three made already. It's because of this, I ain't doing it. But I know there are many, many people out there that would be willing to do this, or they rock three of the same class, or only play on one. This would work for you indeed. Now when I first read this, I initially thought, this is bullshit. But the guy proved it with multiple images of his guardian with full raid gear. So how is this done? Well okay, so you need to glitch into the raid. That has been covered by almost everyone on YouTube. You glitch in, you grab at a chest, you are rewarded juicy loot. If you have a second and third character, you do it on them too. Now I know what you are thinking, you are thinking DPJ you are going to tell us to delete a character then rank them back up to power level using a boost or playing through the entire campaign and simply get this raid chest after that. No people that's not what I'm going to tell you but that's what I would have thought watching a video like this initially. So what you need to do is, let's say you made a hunter for example, so on your main hunter you have to glitch into the raid and grab the chest or if someone is already at the chest you can load into them and grab the chest and get that loot. If you've already done this on your characters, that's fine, skip that part. You then have to delete a character if you have three, or make a new one if you have the space. The new character you create has to be the same class as your main, so Warlock for Warlock, Titan for Titan, Hunter for Hunter. So load up the first mission of the game on your newly created character. Then you have to simply switch to your main character, and this is where it gets weird. All you then have to do is simply glitch back into the raid and grab that chest on your main character again and this will reward you loot again. Now how does this work? I have absolutely no idea. For some reason maybe the game is thinking because you have a new character, it's this character you are doing this and grabbing this chest on. I don't know but it works people and when I first saw this I thought this sounds absolutely crazy, it's BS. But here is a picture of the guy who has done this allowing him to get all armour which he has equipped and all weapons too. And the thing is people you can keep doing this, so you create a new character matching your main's class, load up the first mission, switch to your main, glitch into the raid and grab the chest, then switch out of your main character, delete the one you just created and create another, load up the first mission, switch back to your main and grab that raid chest again. Yep, sounds crazy but all evidence suggests it actually works. The link to the reddit post for this can be found linked within the video description. The guy who done this, his name is Hub667, so credit given where it's due. If you read the post, you will see he states exactly what he did, which is what I mentioned. Also stated it took him absolutely ages to do, as he got plenty of duplicates as you can imagine. So yeah guys, if you want full reg gear, do this, but like I said at the start of the video, you're doing it at your own risk. I mean it just baffles my mind in how this actually works. Why does the raid think after you've created a new character and loaded in that your main character is that new character or why is it giving him loot again? Is there some sort of coding in place which once you delete a character something resets? I don't know but it works people it really works. Now if I were you and you have three characters that you cherish and you don't want to risk it just in case it doesn't work well then check out the reddit link within the video description it seems as though plenty of people are doing it and it's working for them but yeah guys on that note we have come to the end of the video this is how you get unlimited raid loot and full raid gear last wish raid damn on that note guys I am out thanks as always for stopping by if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and remember guys every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed to the channel and follow the gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys but on that note I am out thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one always in the
you and I.